It's time to winterize your hair. Blaine Schlout of Blaine's Color is here with some tips to protect your hair because come spring, these are the things you're going to wish you would have done, exactly right? Exactly right. <laughs> okay, the first one is keep moisture in your hair. Yeah, what I'm going to demonstrate here is I poke some holes in this styrofoam cup. So we're okay. going we're gonna to treat this styrofoam cup like it's a, it's a head of hair, basically. Every time you do color, every time you, you do anything, yeah. it, those holes form and, and, and um, make the make and moisture not stay in the, the hair. Moisture come out. So now I'm going to take, I'm going to simulate using an, an argon oil. So this so would be just like a, an oil that you put on your hair. You put it in every day right. and it builds up in the hair and it, what it does is it goes in and fills those holes. So, so that when you put the water back in it, it'll you, hold the moisture. Then your right? hair will hold the moisture. Oh, that's great. Right, so something like that is something you definitely need yes, this time of year. And I do have a... There you go. <laughs> Look at you, you come prepared. Um, but yeah, that, the, the argon oil does penetrate into the cuticle and, and it goes in and it, you use it every time and it just replenishes those holes in the hair. Now, I once heard in the winter that you shouldn't wash your hair as much. Is yes, that true? Yes, you can, you can cut back to shampooing every other day. Um, the reason is it's going to make your color last longer. So the, the benefits of a dry shampoo. Now, this is, this is kind of a new product, and it's gaining a lot of popularity. It is. It is, and it's a lot of fun to use, too, because you can go, you can go two or three days. My wife goes three or four days. We won't <laughs> talk about that. Um, but what I'm going to show you here is the difference in the two. Uh, there's a baking soda dry shampoo, one with baking powder okay. or baby powder, and one with um, starch. Oh, okay. So you want to read the label because you want to get the one with starch because this starch, is going to okay. simulate baking powder. What I've got is a magnet. This mm -hmm. is going to simulate oil in the hair or debris. It doesn't do anything. Okay. Right. The starch absorbs all that moisture, oh. and then when you take it, you just slough your hair off. So it doesn't look so oily. Exactly. Yeah. It gives it more balance and movement. Felt that problem before. <laughs> okay. So one with starch. Then. Yes, ma'am. Make sure you look Make for sure starch. Make sure you in the ingredients for starch. Okay. What about our hands? They get so dry. Well, well, this what this is representing. This is a head of hair. This is a healthy head of hair. The pine cone is very tight. Oh, these are the cuticles for our the hair. Cuti yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. This is an unhealthy head of hair. The pine cones are just kind of breaking off. Right. So every time you brush through your hair, you're doing that. That's what causes frizz. So what you want to do is use a good pH balance shampoo. When it says pH balance, you want it to be 4.5 to 5.5. Hmm. That's very critical. And that will close the cuticle down. The hair color lays inside the cuticle and the cuticle's translucent. So this will make it nice and smooth. It's smooth and it'll hold your hair color any longer. Okay. Got very, that. very very nice tip on that one. All right. Next one is a product buildup. Yes. Um, what you're gonna want to do is about once a month to take a little bit of ba uh, baking soda, put it okay. in your hand, add a good shampoo to it, emulsify it very good, and then thoroughly wash your hair with it. That'll remove buildup, it'll really? remove product buildup, grease. Aspirins, if you have any chlorine in your hair, take uh -huh. two aspirins, crunch them up, add them with your shampoo. Same thing. Can you do that in the summer with like you yes, know, all the kids absolutely. that are swimming? And, and I know my and hair if, always turned green as a kid. Well, and if you go with an overchlorinated pool, uh -huh. a lot of the hotels have overchlorinated pools. Right. That's going to save you several hundred dollars in this one. Oh, some great tips. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. We Thanks appreciate for it. Me. Thank you so much. And you can find a link to Outblaine Salon on our website, myfoxdsw.com.